Hey, you guys, so I'm back again with another message from the Lord. God is saying this particular message to be still. Um, when distractions come your way, when things come to frustrate you, and it's just like a lot of things are coming to frustrate God's children because they're on the verge of a breakthrough. And it's like a lot, like I said, like a lot of distractions is coming out of nowhere. You got to learn how to shut that stuff down and be still so you can hear God. A lot of God's children have been experiencing where they can't, I can't say they can't clearly hear from God, but it's like the distraction is, is coming to distract them from hearing from God. God is saying get to the point where you be still. Get into a point where you meditate and you make sure you diligently seek him and spend time. Designate time out to spend time with him. I don't care if you got to cut off your phone. I don't care if you got to turn off the TV. I don't care what you got to do. But when you know that distractions are coming your way, you got to be still. And God just dropped in my spirit. You got to command your atmosphere. Because that is a trick of the enemy. When all the distractions and stuff is coming in, it's because the enemy don't want you to hear God. And the enemy wants you to get to your point where you are in your own flesh and you're doing things in a fleshly way because you can't hear God. Because what it is, is trying to pretty much drown God out. God is saying start to command your atmosphere, but you're going to have to be still. Make sure you're getting up. And when you're getting to the place like that, get in your word with no distractions and you meditate and you get still and command your atmosphere because the devil is busy and when I say distractions are coming like never before they're coming like never before get somewhere and be still be still and know that he is God. God took me to, whenever he said be still, I said, God, that's, that's a God. Are you talking about be still? The scripture. But Psalms 46 and 10. He said, be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Y'all get to somewhere where you be still. You can hear from God. God will fight for you if you will only be still, but you got to be still. And being still is not, being still is just not completely stopping, but being still is surrendering to God and giving whatever you're dealing with to God. But also being still is to taking the time out to pray, to fast, to meditate, and to block out all distractions that is trying to cause you to stop hearing God or they're trying to block what God is trying to tell you get somewhere and be still eliminate all distractions and God said command your atmosphere we have the power to decree a thing and we have the power to command our atmosphere Use it. But God is saying, get somewhere and be still. Get somewhere and be still. I don't care if you are so distracted in your house. Go to your car. Get there and be still. Pray, get there and be still. I promise y'all God will talk to you. Because I know a lot of people are parents and their children. And, you know, the children, they're in the house. And sometimes you have to just pull away and go to a place to where you can just hear God for yourself. Go to your car. It's okay. Whenever I was a stepmother, I used to do that all the time. I used to go to my car. Get still. Pray. And hear what God wanted me to hear. No more distractions in this season. Like I said in the last video, we bind it, we rebuke it, we denounce it, we call it cancel, we send it back into the abyss. But be still. Get somewhere and be still. So you can hear from God. Eliminate all distractions. So you can hear from God. Ask God to give you strategies. To help you eliminate distractions. Because some of these distractions are coming through people. And he will give you strategy. And that's a part of praying. That's a part of wisdom. That's part of praying and asking God for wisdom. On how to do certain things in this season. In this hour. So you won't get distracted.
So, all right, you guys. I love you all. I pray that you guys have an amazing day. Be still. Know that God is God. Know that God is God. In, even when life is life in. But you got to be still. Meditate. Command your atmosphere so you can block out these distractions. So you can continue to hear what God is telling you in this evening, this hour. All right. I love you all. And I will chat with you guys later.